genius supplies. What's up, Spikes? We are back today with some in-studio CDH gameplay. I'm very excited to be playing some more CDH. Uh, but first, before we get into the games, you may have noticed that we've been running ads at the beginning of our videos, and we are very happy and proud to say that we are now fully sponsored by GameGenic Gaming Accessories. We're very excited. Uh, ingenious Supplies. Ingenious Supplies. TM. Yeah. TM. Real talk, though, they are, yeah. it's, it's a really good product. Um, you'll notice we're using some of their sleeves today. We actually have their deck boxes and some of the stuff uh, over on the bar. Um, we actually owned a lot of the stuff before yeah. we were sponsored by them because it's good products. So um, yeah. go check them out. Uh, if you want to check them out, there's a link in the video notes. Video video notes? Video Show description? Notes. Show notes. Show notes? Description? The doobly-doo. Doobly-doo. Hey. <laughs> Shout out Wheezy Waiter yeah. from 2010. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so let's get into it today. I am playing uh, Anye or Anji uh, Falconrath. You can at me in the comments how I'm saying it wrong all day. Ange. I don't care. Um, <laughs> it's like it a is... Rolling Stone song. Anji, <laughs> Anji. Um, yeah, it is a uh, it's a madness deck. You're playing forty cards with madness uh, just so that you can dig to World Gorger Dragon and Animate Dead and uh, just generate infinite uh, manas and all that, and kill people with uh, multi-form at all-star, Avacyn's Judgment. Oh, oh yeah. that has madness. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sure does. That's about all I know about yeah. it. We'll find out. Nice. Uh, today I'm playing Tivit, Seller of Secrets. Uh, this is a six mana Esper commander, uh, and it makes a whole bunch of artifacts. So we feed it into time save and take infinite turns. Um, this also runs a Hallbreaker Horror. Mr. Pinchy. Can I get a crab rave and chat? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. I, this is the first time I've ever played this deck, so um, uh, it's my first day. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Alex back again. And today, as always, I'm playing a deck that's not that hard, and it's called Goto, Bandit Warlord. Today, we're trying to count to 11 because we're going to cast Goto. We're going to get Helm out of the library. We're going to equip Helm to Goto. And there's absolutely no way we could ever cheat on that count of mana. So it's going to be an 11 turn game. Definitely. You know, surprisingly, Alex playing Goto is maybe the realest deck at the table today, which is weird. Uh, I'm going last in turn order. Is that what happened here? That mm -hmm. sucks. Um, I'm playing Grolnok the Omnivore. Um, it's a four mana Simic commander that I have to keep in play for half of my deck to be relevant, but he's got some cool text on him. He puts croak counters on permanents that go from my deck to my graveyard. Uh, they get exiled with the croak counter, and then I can play them. So uh, we play some cute cards like uh, Traumatize and Cut Your Losses from Streets of New Capenna because with Grolnock in play, those are peer into the abyss, baby! <laughs> so um, it's a Hermit Druid deck, it's a, a Basalt Monolith Mesmeric Orb. Um, yeah, I'm going to put a Toad into play and then hopefully Croak. <laughs> it, it actually says he's a frog, not a Toad. Yeah, nice try. Yeah, yeah. No, true. Do you play? True. Do you play Paradigm Shift? I oh maybe. I I do not, but I maybe should. <laughs> yeah. okay. All, right. All right. Well, Jen, run the dead roll. Yeah, so let's first. Start it off. I'll draw for turn, and I will play a Wooded Foothills and pass. He's passing. I'm passing. Yeah, interesting. What do you think is his legacy? Yeah. I'll draw a card. <laughs> I'm gonna play a Windswept Teeth, and I'm gonna crack it. I'm <laughs> going to 39. I'm gonna get this Tundra. And uh, I'll use it to cast an Esper Sentinel. Oh no. It's better than my whole deck. <laughs> uh, if that resolves, I'm going to pass the turn. Right on, right on. I'm going to draw a card. We'll play this mountain and pass a turn. Two people passing the turn. Cringe. I'm going to draw. That's an interesting one. I guess this Esper Sentinel's triggering no matter what. Okay. Uh, we're going to start things off by going to 38, casting a Gataxian Probe, not paying the one. You. you may draw a card. I would like to look at your hand, though, Jim. <laughs> do I want this to happen? You're the only blue uh, deck. What do you mean, do you want it to happen? Well, don't mental misstep me. I, I, I need to draw this card. Yeah, that miss looks pretty good. I drew a card already. <laughs> I can afford to spend a card here. <laughs> Tough. <laughs> nah, you can take a look. Okay, sick. Um, I was like, there's no way Elliot fixed me. <laughs> Jim is the problem. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, uh, I will draw a card off of my Gataxian Probe. That's a tough one. Uh, I've got a Waterlogged Grove, paying a life to add a green down to 37 uh, to play this Exploration. 
Uh, and then I'm going to play an Inventor's Fair. It is exceedingly fair this time, actually, because I uh, does not produce blue or green, so I am just passing the turn after that. All right, I'm going to crack my Wooded Foothills and go to 39. I'll get a Blood Crypt, and uh, since it's the end of Elliot's turn, I'm not going to pay two life. Uh, nice. Tap. I will play a Verdant Catacombs, and I will pass. Mm-hmm. Just leave and fetch lands out. Yep. Yeah. Makes me nervous. Sus- suspicious. Hold- holding up counter spell magic. Just a little suspicious. I'll play this Flooded Strand. I knew that one was there. Yeah. And I'll pass the turn. We'll talk about leaving fetch lands up, guy. Uh, do you want me to? No, it's fine. Leaving fetch lands up is something that you can do if yes. you want to make other people nervous. It is. It's true. It's, it's working. <laughs> this is this is where we are low key holding up a Simeon Spirit Guide opposition agent. And yeah. No one expects it. Nobody knows whether I'm going to fetch for an underground sea or a watery grave or play Great Furnace. Yeah. Or a Great Furnace. Pass turn. On tap. <laughs> I did intro this as CDH for my turn. (laughs) Well, this exploration sucks. (laughs) Uh, Take a damage off of this waterlogged grove. 36. Play a Sylvan Library. Trigger S percent. You got it. Draw a card. Yeah. Uh, Pass. (laughs) What a weird game. Crack this bird in catacombs. Go to 38. I'll get this Badlands untapped uh, and then continue to pass Elliot's turn. You may. I'll draw for my turn. I should do a lot of things. A lot of things? Yeah, I'm going to play this Mana Crypt. Trigger. Yeah, you can drag a card. All right. Then I'm going to play this Luxury Suite, mm-hmm. because I still have two or more aggressors. Do you want to concede? <laughs> do you want to concede? No. Shit. I will if you will. And then I'll play a Mox Diamond, discarding a Tarnished Citadel. Oh. Huh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You've got a lot of mana. I do. He's got, uh, yeah, six suddenly. <laughs> uh, and I guess we're going to do things. I'm going to cast uh, Angie. I would like to respond. Sounds good. I'm going to crack my flooded strand. You got it. Oh, this checks out. 38. I'm going to get this underground seat. Yep. And then still in response to the Anya, mm-hmm. uh, I'm going to cast Blue Elemental Blast. <laughs> Outer <laughs> target red spell. On a list of things that I was expecting that actually wasn't one of them. <laughs> I'll have you know. I've passed priority. Pass priority. <laughs> I mean, I assume that the list of things you were expecting were the list of cards that were in my hand. Like yeah, I, but I don't yeah know no I... spoilers. Blue Elemental Blast was not one of them. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this. Getting owned by... I mean, just Red Elemental Blast is Blue Elemental Blast. Look, oh, did, I, I, don't did have... I draw it yeah. off of the S percent null off the Mana Crypt? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't have a Blue Elemental... Or a Red Elemental Blast to counter it with. I have a Pyro Blast. Oh! oh. You did the thing. I did. Are we fighting? It's the name of the I movie. Mean, I don't think it's he's... worth fighting. I have no colored mana now. <laughs> yeah. Um, Do you have a way to remove her after she hits the board? Yeah, blue elemental blast. <laughs> 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 I'd like to respond by casting Dispel, targeting your Pyro Blast. Okay. That one I knew about. <laughs> don't um, worry. Yeah, that's uh, that's a thing I can't do much about. And okay. it happens. Okay. Dispel counters, Pyro Blast, blue elemental blast counters, counters. and... Oh, and back to the, the zone. Back to the zone. Okay. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'll pass. Okay. I'll untap. Draw a card. I want to play this Misty Rainforest. Oh, fetch land guy. And uh, I'm going to pass. Stop it. <laughs> so mad. Get some help. I'm draw so tap. mad. <laughs> cards in my hand do nothing because they say madness on them. <laughs> <laughs> the cards in my deck do not. Approximately 40 of them. Yeah. Urza Saga. And we'll take it up to one. Okay. Oh, you can tap it for a colorless. I'm going to. <gasps> Play Felwar Stone. No. What truck card? I'm just saying you could. Uh, you almost look foolish. That could have been a red spell. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll pass turn. <laughs> what? <laughs> Not paying the Asper Sentinel and then passing the turn with two mana open? Oh, yeah. Wow, it's almost like he's, I got interaction or something. He's oh, telegraphing. Yeah. Something. He's telegraphing D's nuts. Hey, yeah. uh, <laughs> hey, hey that I'm one gonna... YouTube comment from like two months ago. Do any of the rest of you have interaction? Oh, true, true, true. <laughs> I'm going to Sylvan Library. Uh, I'm taking eight here. Oh my All gosh. Right. Wow, okay. Uh, go to 28. 28. My next trick is Spire of Industry. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, that adds a colorless. Or tap to pay a life and add a man of any color. Activate only if you control an artifact. Do you control an artifact? Nope. Not currently. Uh, I'm not taking any further questions this time. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's still Inventor's Fair. Yes. Uh, I need to take another damage here. 27. I am going to play 
Allosaurus Shepherd. I would like my green spells to become uncounterable. I now have two colorless open. Be very afraid yeah. no. of my warping whale. <laughs> That's the turn. You gonna pay for the Esper Sentinel? Whoa, no, it's, it's a not... creature. Doesn't mean you can't pay. Oh, the Esper Sentinel. Look. I'm gonna untap and draw. <laughs> you may. Oh, Whoa, actually, first, yeah, first, not. first, I'm gonna Mana Crypt. Spikes damage. No damage. No damage. Uh. That's okay. <laughs> We've already all agreed. It, it was no agree. damage. Trust us. Well, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna attempt to cast a spell. That's how magic it is does. played typically. It works. Yeah. I'm gonna play a uh, multi-format all-star that everybody knows, so I'm not even gonna have to read it. Uh, psychotic episode. What? <laughs> uh, target player reveals their hand and the top card of their library. I choose a card revealed this way. That player puts the chosen card on the bottom of their library. It has madness. Who are you targeting? I'm gonna target Jim. <laughs> what? What? Does it say choose or target? It's target it says player. target player. <laughs> are you paying for Esper Sentinel? You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna pay for Esper Sentinel. Okay, because I can't do anything else. Then I will respond to Psychotic Episode okay. by casting an offer you can't refuse. Counter target non creature spell. Its mm. controller creates two treasure tokens. Oh, I'm in for that. That's okay. fine with me. <laughs> That's better than his spell, Jim. Why would yeah, you do that? <laughs> uh, make my two treasure tokens mm -hmm. and uh, then pass the turn. Uh, in your end step, I would like to sack Misty Rainforest. Go to 37. I'm gonna get this Hallowed Fountain into play untapped. Untapped. 35. 35. Still in Jan's end step, I would like to cast Lemduel's Vault. Oh no. Pass. I, with my two colorless, also pass. No warping well. <laughs> no warping well for your <laughs> instant. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I feel like I would have Red Elemental Blast the. <laughs> Offer you can't refuse, so yeah, go for it. Okay. Uh, okay, so I've resolved Lindell's Vault. I am putting these five cards on top in this order. And losing 16 lives. Yes, by I the looked way. at 16 <laughs> piles while we were cut. Yeah, so yep. go to 19. Yep. Okay, well, my life total doesn't look so bad now. <sighs> Unless we lose right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're good with Jan's turn? Yeah. Yeah, I will untap. I will draw a card. Oh, would you look at that. Who could have guessed? Who could have guessed? I would like to cast Thassa's Oracle. Oh. Oh, it's like that. Well, I have colorless mana. <laughs> <laughs> pass. Yeah, pass. Jen. Pass. Okay. Uh, ETB, trigger, hold priority. Yep. I would like to cast Demonic Consultation. Yep. Pass. Pass. Good, good, good. <laughs> I would like to name. You are already dead. Oh, nice. Oh, my womo. Shinderu. <laughs> uh, oh, it's not in your deck? Can you prove that? Fast as Oracle on the stack. Uh, trigger on the stack. Pass. Pass. Uh, All righty. <laughs> cool. Quick one. Dang it. Okay, so my hand was like really cool, actually. I had Caustic Caterpillar, uh -huh. March of Swirling Mist, Pongify Cyclonic Rift, uh, Birds of Paradise Worldly Tutor, but I had. Collarless mana. Like if even oh, that's not getting anybody anywhere. Okay, oh, that's a blue at least. There you go, yeah. Yeah, so blue. like I guess like I pay four mm. off of my Sylvan Library. I get an artifact in play and another blue source, but like, oh the the land draws were awkward for me this turn. Treasonous ogre, magnetic theft. Oh, he had it on his turn. Yeah. Um, oh. <laughs> I, I was representing uh, having a counterspell, but did not have a counterspell. Ah, um, wow. I was just trying to intimidate specifically Jim and specifically you into not going for it this turn in the hopes that I could go for it. Yeah, so um, uh, I, in my hand, yeah. I had Dress Down, Force of Will, Chain of Vapor, yeah. Defense Grid, and Silence. Okay, so yeah, no, uh -huh. no shot. Uh, my opening hand was Two lands, Esper Sentinel, and the rest of it was interaction. Yes, when when I looked at his hand, he had Dress Down, Force of Will, an offer you can't refuse, Silence. And I was like, wow. well, I'm never winning this game. Yeah, <laughs> it was a pretty busted opener. And then I top decked the Linduel's Vault. And, uh, oh yeah, well, not even top decked, right? right? You drew right, yeah. two from me, two from you, two from you, I yeah. think, right? Yeah. Like six cards. Yeah. Esper Sentinel, so good. Are you ready for this? You guys aren't gonna believe this. Uh, how many Madness I, cards? I had Blood Mad Vampire. No way. 
uh, <laughs> Strength of Lunacy. Get right out of town. And uh, Alms of the Vein. Holy. This is Alms? like an actual card. Alms is an actual card. <laughs> yeah. I've heard of Alms of the Vein before. Yeah. That's in Popper. Yeah, that, that's in Popper for yeah, sure. Yeah. For sure. yeah. But no, that was a heck of a win. Quick one. Yeah. Quick, quick one. Quick one. Uh, I don't know where we're at on this one, but. Uh, 34 minutes. It'll cut down short. Yeah, yeah that'll be really good. Be 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> we need a lot of fetch. But if you want to watch the whole game, uh, we're going to post the uh, un, not unedited, but uncut version uh, on our Patreon. You can go check that out. Uh, you can check the uncut games for $2, but if you just want to watch the games early, we post them two days early uh, for patrons. Uh, as anybody higher than a dollar on our Patreon, you also get access to our Discord, which is really cool, uh, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Mm-hmm. So. Just want to shout out real quick, GameGenic, one more time for sponsoring the channel. They're the reason we can help keep the lights on around here. And you're about to hear from uh, Jim here in just a minute about how cool our Patreons are. But in the meantime, you have a great day. I want to give a huge shout out to all of our patron supporters, especially those on the screen right now. The support you give us helps us keep the lights on and keeps us making cool content like this every week. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And with that, we'll catch you next time.